Hello there, tribe leaders. My name is Goldie, and today I want to quickly show you how you can use custom names in Medieval Dynasty. Currently, you can name houses, fields, and animals. Yes, animals too. <laughs> of course, you as well. Actually, let's start with you. Some of you may already know my horse. This is cool. And as you can see, he has not been officially named yet. So let's go ahead and change that. For this, first press N to open your management menu. Go to the Animals tab. Here, select the animal that you want to name. At the bottom of your screen, you can see which key to press to assign a custom name to it. Or just click it. Enter the name you want. Accept. And that's it. Now you can see the name of your animal in the menu, and you will always know which one is the right one. And when you close the menu and look at your animal, you can also see the name. <laughs> he likes it. For your fields, it works the same way. Press N. Go to the Fields tab. The more fields you have, the harder it gets to keep an overview. Naming them makes it a lot easier. Just like with the animals, select the field you want. And at the bottom of your screen, you can see the option again. Custom name. Name it. And accept. And again, you can see the name in the menu, and you can see it when you close the menu. Next to your house. With many houses and many villages, keeping track of who lives where can be difficult. Again, naming them makes it a lot easier. To do so, press N and go to the Buildings tab this time. Select the house you want. And here's the option, Custom Name. Enter the name you want and accept. Named in the menu and outside of it. And this is it. Now you know how to give custom names to your fields, to your animals, and to your how. Um, wait a second. <clears throat> you can also, of course, change the name anytime. Because you never know. <laughs>